Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I'm going to be doing an inspiration piece with this wallpaper. I'm going to try and mimic some of the items in this wallpaper. And um, I don't have exact, but I'm going to try and do my best. I just love it. I think it's beautiful. So first of all, I had this picture frame and I decided I wanted to put the wallpaper in it. Basically so I can have it with my pieces because it is my inspiration piece and I wanted to display them all together. thought it would look pretty cool. So I'm just taking a lot of the staples that are in the back and then there was a covering in the back and I took all that off. I took the frame apart and used the inside piece to cut my wallpaper the correct size. And then I cleaned it up, of course. It was very dusty because this has been kicking around the basement for a while. So then I decided I didn't really, I like the frame color, but it wasn't my favorite. It had a little bit of a red tone to it and I really wasn't into it. So I decided to take my Waverly Black chalk paint and paint it all black. Just one coat. Then I took the uh, some Waverly white wax, uh, not white wax, sorry, clear wax, and went over it and just sealed it up so that it would be easier to clean. So I'm trying to mimic this picture. It's a candle, and this is what I found in my stuff. This is just going through the stuff that I have down um, in my craft room, and I just found stuff that I could use. So this is a pedestal that goes inside the glass uh, vase to hold the uh, candle. And then underneath it will have um, greenery around it. So you won't even be able to really see it. And, but I just wanted it all to be cohesive and look nice. So I painted it all with the Waverly Black paint. And got that all covered. And I just stuck it down inside when I was ready. I didn't glue anything to it or anything like that. All I did was just um, glue the caps. Those were caps from a previous uh, a craft that I did. And I just wanted to um, use them up. I had them saved up for something. And I thought these it would work good for this. Just as a little riser for the candle. The plate, it goes under the vase, and I'm going to paint it black. It's a little different color in the wallpaper, but I think this is going to look just fine. So here I'm showing you my Waverly White chalk paint and some baking soda. I only have a little bit of chalk paint in there, so I decided to make a textured paint with some baking soda. I saw that on Julie's designs and signs, and I thought it would be... Um, Fun to try it on this picture, which is supposed to be like the one in the picture as well. Um, it's a little bit different, but I think it'll be fine. I'm using a dabbing technique with this. I'm just dabbing it on there and um, doing it all over. I decided to do the inside as well, just a little bit. Uh, I wasn't going to, and then I said, well, you can kind of see it. So... I did inside just down a little ways. Um, it is going to have some lilac flowers in it, so you're not really going to be able to see in it, but I thought it kind of finished it off nicely. So I did a little bit inside, and then in the little spout there, you see I went in that inside that too. But I think this covered really well with where I didn't have much of the white paint. I thought this would cover a little bit better, and it really did. And it made a really cool texture on it. I really like it a lot. All right, so after I did all that, I took a little bit of black paint on a brush and just went around the edges and highlighted with the black paint. 
just a little bit here and there. Um, in the inspiration picture, it had um, spots of black here and there. It also had a, like a crockery stamp on it. I don't have any crockery stamps, so um, without getting too deep into my stash and trying to find something that would work, I decided to just give it a little little paint job and some black here and there and make it look a little bit distressed here and there. So I think it came out really cute. I really like it, especially with the textured paint. It really stuck very well. This one is uh, supposed to be, like in the picture, um, a square bucket of some sort uh, covered in burlap so um, with greenery coming out the top so I had this tin and I said well I think this will work and it also will work for the riser for my pitcher because it needs to be a little higher like in the picture um, or of the wallpaper so I decided I was going to um, partially cover it just in the front and then do um, have the picture sit on top with the greenery coming out of one side of it. Um, I think that's going to work and all you're going to see is the front so um, I just wrapped it around as much as I could and so that you couldn't see the sides from the front and then I took twine and went all the way around it I don't know three or four times to um, wrap it up and give it the look that was in the picture as well. Uh, I also made a little burlap bow to go on the front which also was in the picture so I did that, tied it real quick and popped it on. Okay guys so here's the inspiration picture in the newly painted frame and the inspiration vignette is coming right up. What do you think guys it's similar I just think it's beautiful um, it's a very pretty little vignette and I really like it so hopefully you guys do too let me know down in the comments whether you like it or not and what your favorite piece is and I appreciate you being here please like share and subscribe and have a great day